Okay, so since the last video, which was an announcement, something has happened. Um, a, this thing came, finally. And it, it even works. I mean, it works. Um, it has auto ranging, which is quite nice. And it does do the beepy thing. See, can we do the beepy thing? I will just put the camera here. Um, the probes have caps. Ouch, and are sharp. <coughs> so, it doesn't beep. Why does it not beep? It has to beep. There, it beeps. Quite loud. Yeah, this is just the diode measurement. Um, it can measure all kinds of things. Um, that is voltage DC, voltage AC, um, resistance the diode thing and the continuity or whatever you call it capacitance up to a few microfarad up but it does not i think it's not able to measure lower capacities you see here it's just microfarads and that's it i guess let's see if we can i just <laughs> i don't have anything right now that i could measure but yeah i guess it does not range down to anything else if it just stays at microfarad, which you can or cannot see here. Has two off positions, which is quite convenient. Has auto power off, it says. So that's also pretty nice because I tend to forget it sometimes. Um, okay, next. Hertz, which means frequency measurement. I did not try that yet because I don't have a frequency generator. Um, but I guess it works too. Microamps, milliamps, amps, and off. Amps, it says fuse, 10 amp max, so just the standard with these, well, they're okay, it's just 10 bucks, I guess it's okay, the quality of the cables. Um, yeah, that's one thing that happened. The second thing, <laughs> I tried to work on the knife, because I have to attach it to the uh, piezo element somehow, and I was... First I was thinking, so, well I have to snap off the knife anyway, I have to separate it from the handle, because I have to get the thing in between the, the two of them. So, getting it off. So, I don't know if you can see this, but here's a tiny chunk taking off the, uh, the metal. Yeah, and that's when my saw went dull, because this is stainless steel, <laughs> and I was like, oh maybe I can saw this little piece, no I can't, I just couldn't get through it. I did not want to use a grinder. I don't even know if I have a or we have a grinder. So, um, yeah, I saw it out like a little piece here, and then I got frustrated and took some pliers and just snapped it off <laughs> because I was like, "Well, this thing. Let's see before I try to use it and bend it like I initially intended to. I will come to that in a minute. Um, I decide to." Let's check if it even does bend at all or if it breaks. So I just took the pliers to it and went snip and yeah, it just broke off. So <clears throat> I thought the first I wanted to just bend it 90 degree here. So I basically have this here and then I can attach it to whatever surface I need. Um, but obviously this doesn't work because it's stainless steel and it just breaks. When you try to bend it like whatever kind of steel it is i have no clue so yeah i have this thing here now which is already bent which is reasonably strong we will see if it works <laughs> maybe we'll just come off after a while um for that we have to drill some holes now i do not want to drill uh ruin the drills of my dad <laughs> um because then yeah shit's gonna happen and people's gonna be mad at me so i bought these hole saws um well a whole set of them a while ago on banggood this is a six millimeter one um tiny bit too big actually for this but i will just put another metal play on there and use bigger screws so yeah i will try to drill a hole through here or two of them with this and if it does not work, um, <laughs> yeah, that would be stupid and I would have to glue that on here. 
I, I cannot weld because I mean we have a welder an old stick welder with just a big transformer in it super cheap super old and yeah I don't really want to start that because yeah look at this thin stuff would we'll just burn holes in it and everything will be ruined so I will try to put this on here and when I get that yay but for now I still have to wait for the piezo element and the double H bridge that I want to use to drive it so let's put this on the side and look at something which is here for I don't know how long very long and this is this tiny piece you can't really see what it is it's um <laughs> I would have to use a microscope for it but yeah I'm too lazy to get out the USB microscope now and this camera doesn't focus anyway so yeah just bear with me this is a Bluetooth dongle I think it's even Bluetooth 4 if I can just put it here so yeah you can slide this out of the thing and all you camera stop turning off the screen um, what you get is this piece which is just a PCB let's see if I can get it out without breaking yes I can come on <laughs> got it okay so yeah that's it that's everything in that Bluetooth dongle what you see here on the right is I guess some uh, ROM then you have this other shiny chip you see it's reflecting stuff um, that's a bare die on the PCB and on the left you have an antenna you see compared to my finger how big that antenna is <laughs> um, and it's also relatively close to the case which means there's a lot of metal in the way of it so what I want to do is extend that antenna with this piece of wire so I gotta solder this onto here somehow <laughs> yeah and that's kind of the thing I want to do maybe today maybe whenever I have time but you will see it in one video anyway so maybe I just I will heat up the soldering iron try it once if it fails I'm gonna do something else so yeah maybe B or B guess what I kind of got it attached onto here so yeah it's good that the camera doesn't focus because then you can't see how crappy my solder job is and how crappy the solder is that I'm using well it's lead free I guess uh, I don't actually know I bought it from China it said it has lead in it but I guess it doesn't because it's just pretty dull and yeah but it it works for what I do so yeah you see I just soldered it like over the other antenna because I was like yeah I can't just attach it to uh, the tiny bit that goes to the green part um, so just attached it to whatever was there yeah <laughs> and I gotta see if that works because maybe it does maybe it doesn't um, yeah that's basically it I will reassemble it drill a hole in the plastic case probably or file it so I can stick the antenna out and I will make the next video segment in a bit okay so I got it back together and I don't even know if that's up the right side up but I guess it is <laughs> if it isn't I don't care so yeah antenna sticking out here made a little hole in the plastic cover here and next up I'm going to try <laughs> if it actually increases the range of my computer because my computer has an a Bluetooth thing on board but well it's encased in a piece of metal so that's not that good so at least I can put this one maybe on an extension cord and put it anywhere in the room so I hopefully get more range out of this I already put an antenna on my receiver which is similar to this just twice as long I think I don't know length <laughs> is probably not correct but maybe it will give me a better reception so yeah just it for today keep your dick in a wise ha huh? yeah um i guess that really is it for today it's from ventian if anybody is interested in it um and i guess i will not have another project till the parts arrive for the fucking knife yep bye bye